Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel. Um, so in this question, we see a function. Uh, it's a parabola, it opens up. Um, I notice that it crosses the x-axis at negative five and one. So when the question says, for what values of x is f of x less than zero, um, well, what kind of numbers are less than zero? They're negative. Also remember that f of x and y really mean the same thing. So it's really asking, when are the y values less than zero? So if you think about all the points on this graph, which of them, which x values, give you y values that are negative, that are less than zero? Um, you could make a table. Uh, I don't, you don't actually need to do this when you're solving it, but just to make the point. So if I'm looking over here at negative seven, when x is negative seven, the y value is up here. I can't quite tell what it is, but it looks like it's positive 15. And when x is negative six, it looks like the y value is seven. When x gets down to negative five, the y value is zero. And now notice that, so that's where the, the y values right there is where the y values went from being positive to now if I go to let's say negative four, I can't quite tell what that is, maybe it's around negative five. Now I'm getting negative y values. So all of these points down here below the x-axis, all of these points down here have y values that are negative. So the question's asking me for what values of x are the y values below zero or negative. And so it's all of the x values from negative five to one, right? So all these x values in here, negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, give you negative y's. And so our answer is, and, and it's, remember, it's not just the integers, it's the fractions and decimals in between. So our answer to this in interval notation, it's all the real numbers from, ne whoops, from negative five to positive one, right? It's all those x values give you y values that are negative. Um, we're gonna put parens around it because we're not including, let me just erase that for a second, we're not including negative five because negative five didn't give us a number that was less than zero, it gave us a y value that was zero. And this problem asked for ones that were less than zero. If this had said less than or equal, then we would have used the square bracket. Um, but it didn't, so we don't, and so that is our answer. Hope that helps. Thanks.